Uh, my name is Maxim Kulishov. I am a bioinformatician at Mayan Lab at uh, Mount Sinai. And today I'm going to present gene and drug landing page aggregator. Um, so high throughput methods for uh, screening small molecules and generation transcriptomic data have created an abundance of data related to genes and drugs. And additionally, uh, the ability to store and make this data publicly available in various databases and web applications uh, has become increasingly simple and expensive. And as many biomedical resources uh, provide information about variants, genes, proteins, uh, drugs, and small molecules as dedicating a landing page, combining uh, these landing pages in one central location would enable more widespread access to gene and drug knowledge. So, uh, CFD gene and drug landing page aggregator is designed to accomplish the same by gathering all primary resources and databases that provide gene and uh, drug landing pages into one site. Uh, with a simple search tool that only requires the user to enter either a gene or a drug name. Uh, the landing page provides a search bar for querying uh, gene symbols and drug names of interest. A drop down on the left from a search field allows to switch between the gene and the drug search types. Uh, search results can be Additionally, filtered by whether a resource is uh, NIH Common Fund supported and by the source type, whether a resource is a primary uh, source of data generation or aggregated the data from other resources. Uh, after submitting a query, the website displays a dashboard of resources presented as cards. Uh, the results are filtered by availability of the hyperlink and sorted based on whether <clears throat> it is tagged as a primary source and the number of clicks on the card. Um, the structure of resource cards for genes and drugs is identical. The header of the card displays the resource center affiliation, uh, the website logo and the CFD affiliation. The body of the card displays a screenshot of a landing page of the corresponding resource, a uh, short resource description obtained from the resource page, and a hyperlink uh, to the resource. Finally, the footer of the card displays a hyperlink to, the, to a page of a gene or a drug on the requested resource. Uh, the gene and uh, drug resource pages show an overview of all gene and uh, drug resources from which uh, gene and drug page aggregator collects the data. And every resource card provides uh, the same information as a, a results card. A uh, center affiliation and uh, CFD affiliation, a logo and a screenshot of a landing page, a short description and a link to the resource. And cards are sorted based on the primary source and the number of uh, times they've been clicked. Uh, gene and drug pages aggregator is a React application that uses Next.js to render pages server-side. It generates indexable and cacheable static pages. We utilize incremental static regenerated page caching to provide the benefits of static web pages, including search engine optimization. And um, page caching properties, but uh, recompute the pages after a period of time to ensure the information is kept up to date. And uh, the most common approach for uh, aggregating data is to aggregate it into a unified database for querying, but it quickly becomes unsustainable as variety data types of different granularity uh, are integrated. And our approach is different. Uh, our approach is not to store and serve the information, but to query resources on demand and use 
each resource to serve the information they were designed to serve uh, in a meaningful fashion, starting with primary sources. Uh, this catalog manifest lists all of the gene and drug center resources, including their descriptions, uh, descriptions, categorization tags, callable functions to generate hyperlinks based on a <clears throat> drug or gene query. Uh, these manifests are resolved at query time based on a gene and drug information provided and filtered based on the availability of hyperlink and sorted by whether the document is tagged as a primary source and a uh, page rank based on, on number of clicks. Uh, to display the availability of genes and drugs across resources, we generated accessibility matrices. Uh, gene, genes and drugs are listed in columns of these matrices and resources in rows. Bright color represents the presence of a gene or a drug in the resource while dark colors indicate its absence. Um, the downloads have provided access to the manifest of gene and drug resources as well to as matrices that describe specific uh, gene drug availability across all resources. Uh, these matrices were generated by querying many gene and drug terms in each resource and will be updated periodically. And uh, uh, I'm going to show a short demo. Um, so to demonstrate the use case, uh, we search on the gene Clotho, uh, which is a, uh, known to be a downregulated in aging and is important for healthy kidney function. Uh, gene and drug aggregator resolves the uh, gene resources manifest for 43 gene center resources when you click the search, when I, when I click the search button. Okay. Uh, it converts the gene names to different notations such as ensemble ID, for example, uh, uh, GTEx uses ensemble ID. And if you open a GTEx, you can see that internal uh, notation of Clotho in GTEx is in, in ensemble. Uh, Uniport uh, converts to, it can convert to Uniport ID on, on, or any other IDs or notations that are internal to resource, since some resource use gene notation that is different from interest gene names. And after resolving gene IDs, uh, gene and drug aggregator requests gene-centric resource, which correspond to resolved gene IDs. And it renders corresponding gene cards containing a hyperlink to the gene page on the resource if the resource responds with an, with an HTTP status code, code 200, indicating that a request was successfully completed. Uh, here's an example of data you can uh, obtain. You can uh, obtain expression level in different tissues from GTEx or glycoprotein data from Glygan or um, Geo signatures from uh, seed commons or SNP trace from GWAS, and it's plenty of uh, resources. Uh, I'm running out of time, so I'd like to thank members of Maya Lab for helping and with this project and developing this project, and uh, NIH for funding this project.